Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on connecting Google Forms uh, with a mail merge. So what I've done, I've picked a Google Form that I've already created and this is my team Christmas meal. I don't know about you but often when we get to our Christmas meal it's hard to find out who wants what and then when you get to the meal you always forget. So what I'm going to do is create this form that I've already done here so you can go through the form choosing your starter, your main and your dessert. So what I'm going to do then is use Mail Merge to send the person their personalised menu so they don't forget. What I've already done as well, so I've created my Team Christmas Meal template. So this is what it will be. And so this is just going to fill in the details and then get sent to them. OK, so let's get underway. So what we're going to do in our Google Form is first of all go to Responses. So we need to click on Create Spreadsheet because it's in the spreadsheet that in a sense the, the merging happens. So the data is obviously taken from the form and then into the spreadsheet and then this populates the template. So what we're going to be looking for is an add-on and the add-on is called Autocrat. So if I go to Get Add-ons, so search this now, so it's called Autocrat. I can see it there. Let me click on there. I'm going to click to install this. OK, so that's telling me that once I've done it, I can find it again under add-ons. So that's great. Before I proceed, though, what I need to do is to add my tags into my document. So the tags I'm looking for are these three here. Choose your starter, choose your main, choose your dessert. So if I'm going to copy this here and then go into my document. So in my document, I'm going to make sure these are double chevrons, paste in my name, and then I've got choose your starter. So I'm going to do the same choose your main so now these are the tags that are going to link my document into my Google Sheet so now I'm ready to go I can click add-ons and go to autocrat and open so it's telling me I don't have any jobs yet so I'm going to create a new job and I'm going to call this one Christmas Mill 2020. Click next. Then I'm going to choose the template that I want to connect to from my drive. So if I click from drive, I find my Christmas meal, click select, and then when I'm ready, I click next. So as you can see, it's picked up my tags from here. They're just standard tags, they're not images or anything like that. So this is a good place to check you've put your tags in correctly because it's just showing you here what it's going to pick up from your Google Sheet. So you choose your starter tag or pick up whatever is in that column. Once I'm happy with this, I click Next. Then I'm going to put your, my file name. So I'm going to call it your personalized Christmas menu. You can put in tags in here as well. So if you put a name field or something like that, you could name it to make sure they know it's theirs. Um, I'm going to do this as a PDF, so I'm going to click Next. Then I want to choose the folder where I'm going to have all these merged documents go. I've got a Christmas meal folder there, so I'm going to click that and press Select. Again, click Next. I don't need to worry about this option for now. Then if I want to, I can add a merge condition. Um, I don't need to for this one, but an example of this is I did for a test and if you got 10 out of 10, then you got sent out a certificate. So I only did the merge if that condition was met. But we don't need that for today. Click Next. Do I want to share it? Yes, I want to send it to them. I'm going to send it as a PDF. They can reshare if they want. Send from a generic address. Now I'm going to do it from mine. Um, so this is where I want from the tag. So I'm going to put email address. So it's going to pick that up from my form. Once I'm done there, I click Next. Then we're choosing when do we want the mail merge to run. So we've got two choices here. We can run it on the form trigger. So that means whenever someone fills in the form, then it will run, or a particular time. So I'm going to do it as a form trigger. So that means whenever somebody fills in the form, they'll get sent this. OK, so we've got to the end. So I'm going to click Save. 
Obviously at any point through this process, I could have saved and come back to it at a later point. Okay, we're not gonna run it now because we've got no data, but we're gonna trial it and see how this works. So I can close this out. I'm gonna go into my form and then I'm gonna do preview as if I'm filling this in for myself. So I'm gonna choose my starter, a nice pumpkin and chestnut soup, some traditional turkey and some Christmas pudding. So once I'm done, I can click Submit. But now I'm going to go into my inbox. And as you can see here, I've received an email. So I'm just going to open that up. This is your personalized menu. Open up the PDF. And you can see how it's merged my choices into this Google Doc and sent me it as a PDF. So this is just one example of how you can use Mail Merge with Google Forms. There are many different examples, but I hope this gives you a good understanding and helps you if you want to use this function also.